Hey guys, we're live on Friday, um, nearing the end of the day before a holiday weekend, and we have one of my gorgeous patients here um, who drives very far just to see us. It makes me feel very honored and has known me when I started in what I call the dungeon practice. No, I'm kidding. I love where I was, where I've come from, but we've really expanded to this obviously gorgeous view and really serene environment with a great um, customer service and amazing staff. And we're just doing her daily or her monthly maintenance treatment, which is clear and brilliant microneedling and PRP. And I don't know for those of you who follow me online, you'll remember that I said a couple times that about three years ago I was asked to be one of the first doctors to lecture about microneedling and PRP to the American Academy of Dermatology. And in front of 300 doctors, I did a presentation of using PRP and microneedling, and I was booed off the stage. Everyone said that that was hocus pocus, that those were not uh, evidence-based studies, and even though the pictures I showed shows, showed amazing outcomes in patients, everyone did not believe me that those results were a result of the microneedling and PRP. So we still kept going forward and we combined lasers, turn to the left, with microneedling and PRP and saw amazing outcomes. And my patient here was actually burned um, with IPL devices um, done years ago when she had both hyper and hypopigmentation. And we have basically been able to clear that up, give her a much strong, smoother texture. She almost has no pores, no fine lines at her age. She looks amazing. And you know, every so often she has a little bit of sun. Her background makes her get some pigmentation. We work harder to use peels and lightening creams to improve that, but she maintains her overall look, her beauty, with the clear and brilliant microneedling PRP combo. And the treatment we're doing right now is the Permea 1927 diode laser, uh, clear and brilliant. And this targets superficial pigmentation, of course. So if you want fine line improvement, you want your skin to look less discolored, you want it to be smoother, you want the pores to look reduced, this is the treatment you would do. And you can combine it with PRP microneedling to not only enhance collagen production more, improve scars, but also the PRP helps significantly with discoloration, which is what we showed in our original studies. So how does it feel? It feels good. She feels good. It feels like mm -hmm. a hot stone massage. Mm -hmm. It's not so bad. I've had people tell me cats lick. I've had people <laughs> tell me electrical shocks. I've had people laugh because they get ticklish from it. I don't know. We've had every response. Any other responses that you can think of, you guys? From this mm, no yeah. no no but I pretty much hit them all mm -hmm. so it's important too. melasma is there's no cure for that when you get pigmentation and a lot of women have that whether it's from hormones having kids whether it's from um, Hispanic skin type or ethnicity mixed at, uh, ethnicities in my Indian patients my Hispanic patients my african-american patients there's nothing you can do turn to the right but do these types of treatments to maintain peels that lighten the skin tone and suppress the pigmentation through melanocyte suppression um, using lightening creams that exfoliate the skin such as kojic acid and glycolic acid as well as things that bleach the skin or stop the suppression of melanin like hydro, uh, hydroquinone and other lightening ingredients are butin licorice, different types of teas, etc. Um, there's really nothing else you can do. And the other thing that's helped her significantly is at home dermal rolling. When you do micro rolling at home and you use a brightening mask or a lightening cream at the same time, you can get a significant improvement. Some of my patients that have very severe melasma will use something called Vivacia, which is a foam product that lightens the skin and has a retinol in it as well. And that will be penetrating into the skin much more on a daily basis, but also with the needling treatment. So this is what we're doing. We're doing our, our anti-aging preventative, melasma reducing, pore reducing treatment today. And we're gonna combine that in a moment with microneedling and PRP. Is there any questions or anyone saying anything in there? No. No, the device is a specialized device. You can see that it only works when I'm touching. So even though uh, it's, a, it's a very safe device. It's not shooting a beam like my CO2 laser, so it only goes where I roll. And if I don't roll over the eyeball, everything will be fine. Uh, we can go all the way up near the eye and get the dark circles under the eye and fine lines as well. And we can do multiple passes to continue to get the pigmentation to lift. 
exfoliate. So we're going to continue now with more passes of the Clear and Brilliant, and then we'll be back doing the microneedling PRP for the final. Here we go. Hey guys, we're back and now doing the second portion of our treatment today. And this is collagen induction therapy or microneedling, where we use a needle to puncture little baby holes in the skin to push in any nutrients. And here we're pushing in the PRP. We're also gonna put some lightning cream and a vitamin C on her in a mask um, afterwards to really help um, get that product into the skin because she's, you know, has some flaring. Everyone has some flaring and melasma when it's summertime. We're gonna do a little, just go a little bit stronger. Bear with me. She is uh, very sensitive to spikes, lasers, and numbing creams. So I don't want her screaming and hitting me, you guys, in front of, your teeth are so white right now, in front of all my audience. So we're doing a little bit lighter and a more passes. But the key is, look, you want pinpoint bleeding. You see this light pinpoint bleeding here? You don't need the, the Kim Kardashian bloody face um, <laughs> that everyone knows about online to get results from microneedling. You know, all we need is the light pinpoint bleeding to really stimulate collagen and open those channels to put you up with more of the PRP on. And take a look, she's putting on that PRP, that golden uh, growth factors from her own blood that will help the melasma go down. It will help her heal faster as well. So this is a really nice rejuvenating treatment. It's really what kept her looking 20 because that's her age, <laughs> and, and that's what we're gonna do. That's what I do every month, take a look at my skin, although don't look at my dark circles right now. <laughs> I'm a little, a little tired lately, but overall, nice glow, nice even pores, and even texture. When you get a little closer to the eye, to tighten the eye, tighten the crow's feet, tighten up the brow, you wanna do that, go real close in there, and then that's it. And then the key after that is then we're gonna give her something to take home tonight. She's gonna put on her face again, and then she's gonna start her skincare immediately to really tackle this uh, melasma that she has. But that's um, microneedling with PRP for facial rejuvenation.